Alrighty, continuing on with Alone in the Dark. Once again, our, uh, Der Derceto Mansion has been overrun. Piece your memory back together. Wow. So, yeah, you, you just found out that you've been here, here before. That you are an inmate of Derceto. Pretty crazy. The whole place turned into the bayou. Wow. Well, I can't move. I'm dead. I couldn't move. He basically trapped me against the wall and I couldn't move at all. <laughs> El Grey Zoro, I do not take breaks during gameplay. I take a break between my podcast and the gameplay. That's how I do it now. That way the gameplay is uninterrupted. There's no big breaks anywhere in there. Wait, what happened? Wait a minute. Am I glitched? I know that number. Where's that from? It's already opened. I did that. Oh, I need to I need to get the drawing. I need to get the drawing again. That. that sucks. If I die, I have to keep getting the drawing again. Oh, that does suck. Getting the drawing is what triggers the mansion to change. Okay. Looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside. Okay. Why would McCarthy lock this up? Was he trying to keep Grace from completing the shame? If so, couldn't she have just made another drawing? What the hell happened in here? I can't swing my weapon. What happened? I can't move. I'm stuck again. Look, it keeps fucking up. Come on, man. It's fucked up. Like, the game, I keep getting stuck and he wouldn't swing. I have a melee weapon. He wouldn't use it. He totally would not use it. Weird. Well, let's get the shotgun loaded. That was very odd. God, run. Now we can do the, the whole drawing puzzle thing. Okay. Now I gotta do a puzzle here. How do you rotate? Oh no, it's, they're not even in the right spots. That looks correct. That looks correct. That's correct. Nope. That's correct. Nope. Nah, I don't think so. Nope. Nope. <laughs> uh. That's correct. That's correct. We're almost done. Isn't that it? That's correct. They're all lined up. If they're all lined up, why is it not working? They're all lined up. I don't get it. The Jack in the Box is back again? How many times do I have to get this thing?
I don't understand. Look, all the mold is lined up perfectly. It all aligns with the mold on the ground. Or wait, does this one not? It looks like this one's wrong. This one's the hardest one to see. I can't tell what's drawn on it. It's screwed up. You see how it's like... It's messed up? Is that aligned or not? I can't tell if that's aligned because it's too, it's too dark. There we go. Okay. Huh? What? Here we go again. Elden Ring is Friday, this guy. That's when it continues. Friday. The heck? Other version of the house. It says a me. Do some healing. I have zero health. Can we save? No. Oh. Whoa. Now it became like an office. What the hell? Where are we right now? It says we're in Cassandra's room. We're that we're not. Oh shit. It's his detective this looks really agency. Weird. How am I back at the office? Exactly. Jeremy's never been here. It's not just you. It's J it's everyone seems to be trapped in this building with their own memories, so he can remember his office stuff too. First aid. Thank God, I need that. Bad achievement. An honest day's work. You play for more than eight hours. Ah, oh, cool. I just got an eight-hour achievement. I just got a key, a writing desk key. I don't know what right there was a locked writing desk somewhere. I don't remember that. What's my take on this game so far? It's great. Atmosphere is great. Story is interesting and confusing, but that's good. That's what you want in a thriller or suspense style story. The combat is decent and tense at this point. Now it's actually getting much harder this far into the game. So yeah, I like the game a lot. That's me, isn't it? Who's you? How long have it been since I drowned myself oh. in drinking depression? He's talking. It all felt so peaceful, slipping away into oblivion. A welcoming dark voice wrapped around my mind like a heavy blanket. It turned off suddenly as I woke there up. There is. The sound of my office door closing shut. A messenger had left a telegram from Mrs. Saunders. She had a lead on where to find her husband and her kidnapped daughter. He disappears. <laughs> That's the writing desk. Western Union Telegram. A telegram from Gabriella Saunders sent December 25th, 1928. My husband has returned to steal one of our most valuable paintings. I'm sure he means to sell it. If you hurry, I'm sure you can track him down. God, I used to drink so much back then. When was this exactly? What case was I working? Newspaper clippings. Key item. A crumbled newspaper clipping from December 23rd, 1928. Philanthropist Teddy Saunders goes mad and kidnaps a child. Huh. Okay, I guess we gotta do more. We have to get more evidence and put it up on the board, so I guess we're gonna leave the room. Nope. I think I need to figure out where I'm going first. There's nothing else in the room. Do we have to go back? We came? Yes, I played the Alone in the Dark Xbox PS3 version. It was terrible. It was absolutely awful. <laughs> Can't do anything here. Uh, 
I don't get it. There's nothing else to do, right? I don't see anything else to interact with. What's my take on the co-op Outlast Trials? I had zero interest in it because it was co-op, so I'd never played it. <laughs> I, I just skipped it entirely. And by the way, it's what's funny is no one really talks about it. I didn't hear anyone really bring it up. So, I mean, let that be representative of how good it is or if people like it. I think it was a terrible idea to do it that way. Well, I don't know what to do. Am I soft lock here or something? I think I might be, because look. I can't seem to interact with anything else in the room. I think the game's fucked up. I think I need to figure out where I'm going first. There's nothing back there. I did everything in the room. I can't do anything else. What is the game expecting me to do? Look, there's nothing else in the room to interact with. I think I might have to reload because I think it's goofed up. Something went wrong here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure something went horribly wrong and the game's not working. Smooth brain Brunel strikes again. I, listen, when I am stupid and I can't figure something out, that's one thing. But this, I think the game legit is messed up, right? It says I'm in the French Quarter, probably because that's where your office is located. But let's auto, let's load and see what happens. Whoa! What the? The whole thing was in the dark for a second there, like, uh... Handgun ammo. Handgun ammo. Wait a minute. Why do I have machine gun bullets? I didn't have machine gun bullets. I'm very confused. Now what? I think it's fucked up. I don't know what to do. I think I need to figure out where I'm going first. Guys, I'm stuck. I think I'm soft locked. I don't know where there's supposed to be more items, but there's nothing in the room. And the game's not loading them, so I think I'm fucked. There was another item in the drawer that wasn't there before. A photograph of a man. Okay. It was it was glitched. It didn't load the photograph earlier. Okay, there we go. So, Mrs. Saunders says, stolen painting. He means to sell it. Check out Thornhill. I remember this case. Some kid got taken by her father, headed out of state. But he had made a mistake by selling a painting that his wife actually cared about to a collector named Thornhill to fund his venture. That's how I tracked him down. At least I think so. This is some creepy stuff. Look at this. Like a bloody thread. Going downstairs. What the heck? What on earth? Ew. That's, that's freaky. It looks like a vein or something. Ugh, like a throbbing vein. I know it's supposed to be a thread, but man, it looks creepy.
This game is something else, man. You just keep going to new areas and everything. Like, cool, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't want to talk about fighting games during this game. Sorry. No clue what you're speaking of. All right. Uh. All right, healing item. That's good. I should have full health. Ammo, good. Why are these birds just chilling? Shouldn't they be like running away or flying? Uh, that's really creepy too. There they go. It's like delayed action. Delayed action reaction. Oh, what do we have here? I can't go that way. Or ammo. Hold on, ring the bell. Okay, had to do that. Yeah, the atmosphere is crazy in this game, man. Again, the graphics and the atmosphere are great. I mean, the game has a few bugs and it's a little rough around the edges, but it's quite fun. Oh, shit, look. Thorn Hills Fine Art Gallery. Search the trash can. We got some ammo. <laughs> ladder here, but we can't get to it. I guess we can't do that, at least now. Maybe it'll move later. I if there's a way in here, or this is just for show. It did render the whole inside, though. First aid, good. Oh, no, they're, they're restocking me on first aid. Thornhill wasn't a bad man. But he had principles keeping him from handing out information about the deals. So he needed some convincing. Oh boy. We're in. Well, every case can't be squeaky clean. There goes the thread. Oh, it wasn't squeaky clean because you robbed him. You robbed his register of the shotgun shells. You vile person you. <laughs> I always keep shotgun shells inside of my cash register. Let's see. Jade just goes slow. Boy, let's, yeah, let's not rush into something. God, you left the dirty plates out. What a slob. Even more ammo. Now we got max bullets loaded. Mr. Saunders had sold a valuable painting to Thornhill, hoping the money would carry him to wherever he was going. The painting, now leaning on an easel in Thornhill's bedroom, had a certain mesmerizing gloom that seemed to call out to me, telling me I was needed for something important. I felt myself falling into the painting. Only being brought back by Thornhill, thrusting an address to a Hotel St. George into my hand, and asking me to get the hell out. Hmm. I don't remember this at all. But I can't say it didn't happen. Okay. Oh, fuck! Scared the shit out of me! That legit scared me, man. I was staring right at it, too. I had no idea that was gonna happen. Fuck. What a crazy jump scare. <laughs> PP doll and a guitar. You know what it is? These are all things from Dorsetto. The girl, the drunk, he's seeing their, their items here in his memory, showing that it's all overlapping and all mixing together. Press Y to sneak. Ah, 
How to be sneaky. I'm gonna track any enemies. Except this one. He's kicked something. Did you see that? This area is interesting and different. Shit, there's an item, but there's an enemy right in front of it. I can't go that way. Dead end here? I guess it is. It's a visible, visible wall. Oh man. I am the master of stealth. See that? Shit. Master of stealth, baby. Make sure there's nothing on this train before I activate it. Actually, this is a trolley, right? It's not a train. It's a trolley. Wait, I can get off? Then what was the point of the button? I wonder what the button would have done. I didn't push it. I skipped it. Huh. Was the button a trick? I think you go this way. Bell. I think the bell attracts enemies. I wonder what the button was for. If I was supposed to push it or not. I don't know. Nothing here? No, this is smoke. So I gotta go this way. I guess we'll skip. Unless anyone knows if that button is worth pushing. Is it anything important? Or maybe it was a trick? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What's this? A candlestick? We have a new weapon, the candlestick. Did I go push it and see what happens? Before we go over here, because obviously this is where they want me to go, Hotel St. George. All I did was close the door. What's the point of that? There was literally no reason to do that. Wow. Cater Rates is a back in Bloodborne. <laughs> oh god, are there a lot of enemies over here? Smoke. Looks like he wrecked his car. Yeah, look. That's him. He wrecked his car. Or even more ammo. Man, they're loading me up. Here's the hotel. Who the hell's this? Christopher Colombo. Jean Latif. Je suis un mer, un monster marine. I have no idea what that means. He crashed his car. He was drunk and he crashed. On my way to the hotel, the morning came up. I owed the money, a lot. Of I can't remember what for. Probably some dumb gambling debt, growing in size for each payment missed. I punched one of them out and I sent the others packing. <laughs> it was a stupid move. They'd be back. 
Would I ever do another Sekiro run? I don't know. I wanted to do a Sekiro run right after I beat it the first time, and everyone said, no, don't do it. Why? Because I was actually good at the game, remember? I was actually, at the end of the game, I beat the final boss in like two or three tries, and, and I was doing really, really well in it. So, people prefer to see me play games I'm not good at for some reason. And, uh, I was like, oh, shit! I was pretty good at Sekiro, but no one really ever wanted to see me play it again. I do. do I have to kill these guys? Oh, he busted the gate open. Did you see that? Curious Napkin, Lan Yap. It's from the All the Worlds a Stage Secret Objective set. We don't have any of these yet. Yeah, I was actually good at Sekiro. I actually got good at it. By the end of the game, I was I was destroying the game. The final boss I beat in only two or three tries. And most people said it took them like hours to beat. It took me 10 minutes. And everyone was like, what the fuck? They all thought it was going to take me like the, a whole stream to beat them. And I beat them in like record time. Like faster than most people on the internet who play the game. Hotel bill, key item. A hotel bill dated December 21st to 25th, 1928. Single room, dinner, and a telegram. Okay. Ammo. Or ammo. I found it. In the hotel ledger, I recognized the handwriting and the signature. Ted Stryker. It was him. I could feel it. It was the kidnapper I was hunting. I put on my knuckles and hurried up to his room. You're gonna brass knuckle the guy, huh? Oh, excuse me. This is very interesting to see the, his backstory. Rings a bell. I like this. It feels vaguely familiar. Hmm. Uh. On barge into everyone's rooms. Casanova, thank you for 34 months of membership. Appreciate that. Sekiro must be easy then? It's not that Sekiro is easy. It's that unlike other FromSoft games, Sekiro is 100% a one-trick pony game. Meaning, you have to master parrying. If you master parrying, the game's easy. But you have to master it. And I did. By the end of the game, I was parrying almost everything like nicely. So it wasn't a big deal. Why? Because the parry concept is something that I know from Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. That's why. So I, it's just a matter of, you know, going from joystick to a gamepad. But once I figured it out, end of the game was a breeze for me, actually. I recognize this room, but I didn't catch up with them here. I must have followed them. But where? Okay. Business card key item. Thornhill's Fine Art Gallery. David Thornhill's business card. <clears throat> Hotel bill or business card? Really, I need more than that. How about this. How about this. Telephone directory. Florida, Tallahassee, Florida, DeWitt Boarding School. Dersetto. Is Dersetto right on there? $250 for the Kingsport painting. DeWitt? Contact Miss Robin, $300 a year. That's right, he was running away, ditching his old life and marriage in New Orleans to find something better in Tallahassee. And he took his daughter with him against the will of the mother. That's why she hired me, but I stopped him. I caught up with him at the Pearl River Bridge. Okay, Pearl River Bridge. 
That's correct. Caterade says, oh, fuck. Curl River. This is where I caught up with them. This is what the Dark Man wanted me to revisit. But I'm still not seeing it. What am I forgetting? This is crazy, this game. In a moment's notice, the whole setting changes. You're like, what? Gatorade says, yeah, it's a one-trick pony in terms of replayability. There's no new builds, new main weapons, unique armors. Exactly. You're going to play the game exactly the same the second time as you did the first. So, unlike Bloodborne or Dark Souls or Elden Ring, what's the replayability of playing the game again? You've seen it all on your first run. It's incredibly simplistic. Uh, now what? Seriously, I can't go in the boat? Why not? It's obvious they want you to go in the boat. I can't. Look. I can't go in the boat. It won't let me. Look. What the hell? I'm confused yet again. I think the game screwed up. Oh, never mind. They want me to go on foot. I thought they wanted me to take the boat. Okay. Cool change of scenery, right? Isn't it cool? It's swapping so much. This is neat. Hatchet. Already have a weapon. What do I got? I don't know. I can't swing it right now. It won't work. Oh, the candlestick. Oh. <laughs> it is a little glitchy, but it's fun. <laughs> I haven't had anything like horribly game breaking yet that's ruined my playthrough or anything like that. Am I going the right way? Oh shit. Did I find something secret back here? Here's the bridge. I think this is where you're supposed to go now. But if that's the case, then what was the other way? What's this way? An abandoned house. Must be something in here. Profane Totem Lanyap. And that completes A Goat Without Horns. Okay. Bonus set text. Edward had heard the whispers for years. Oh, let's play it. Edward had heard the whispers for years. When he lived in Brooklyn, it was only on rare occasions. Like when he as a child climbed that tall tree in Central Park. Or when he almost drowned in the Hudson River, trying to save his despaired mother. The whispers became more common as he moved to New Orleans, but still rare enough to be ignored. Now as he walks the halls of Darseto, he knows what is calling him. He doesn't want to admit it, but the dark young in the conservatory is telling him to sacrifice the Cabri San Corn. In the conservatory. The conservatory is the room that they said there was a tree they were worshipping, remember? So maybe this demon is in the tree. All along. What a jerk. Got some ammo. I don't like it when the mold man comes up behind me and grabs my ass like that. It concerns me. These games have to understand the concept of bad touch. And I don't like the bad touch, let me tell you. You have to get lots of permission beforehand before you can you can touch me. Okay, here's the bridge they were referencing. So what happened on the bridge when he caught up with the guy? Did he kill him? What the heck? What? What is that? Why is there a random light there? That's really, really odd. Okay. Oh no! It was her all along. Who? Oh, she's the girl from his case. Oh wow! I can't believe I didn't recognize her. I looked a little different back then, I suppose. Was any of this real? How do you mean? This day, just... So much is happening. I can't... 
think I've lost my head. Do you need me to apologize? I mean... I am sorry. I don't think I need to begin to explain. You, you're just a kid, Grace. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. Lies. Oh. More lies. Oh, ho, ho, ho. No, really. I thought I was being a good guy by handing you over to your mother. I didn't know. I, I couldn't have known that she wouldn't care about you. I don't know how this works. What is this for? Some form of admission of guilt. Maybe acceptance. It's what the dark man wants. I guess we just watch my father die again then. Oh wow. You think he's alive? I know he is. He's down there, scared that he won't be able to get out. That he will drown with his daughter again. What are you saying? We gotta save him. We? Do it yourself. I'm down there with him, remember? No way. Can I really save them? This all happened so long ago. I have to find a way to get down there. I have to see it with my own eyes. Well, there's a... Oh, that's not a glitch. That's a dialogue thing. There was a, a boat at the thing. house where I entered. If I can raise the bridge, I should be able to get to the car. I don't understand what he's saying. Is he saying that he accidentally killed the guy by running him off the, the, the bridge? Is he saying he killed the daughter too? Because what happened is, if you if you heard what he just said to her, he says, I didn't know that your mother wouldn't have cared for you. So what it sounds like is this father was trying to run away with his daughter because the mother was abusive. And so that's why he sold the painting. That's why he was getting away. And then she hired him and he stopped it, but inadvertently killed the guy, thinking the guy was an awful guy. In reality, he was just trying to take care of his daughter. That's why he did it. So, but is she dead or not? Because he said, it sounds to me like he did save her. And they went back and he gave her to the mother and the mother never took care of her or something, right? Which is odd. So what really happened? What's the end of the story? We don't know. What the shit? Uh, oh, I didn't see this. Oh, it's just a weapon. Anything over here before we do this? No. No, it just goes down here and it's a dead end. This is how you get back down afterward, I guess. Okay. Yes, everyone who is here late, because we're, we're adjourning soon, by the way. Uh, I'm playing Helldivers 2 on my late stream tonight. It's my ever, first ever stream of the game. People demanded it so much that I said I will give it a shot tonight. So come on by 6.45 p.m. Pacific time tonight if you want to see me try that out. Anyone watching this on demand on the channel? Yeah, I'm trying Helldivers today. I don't know if you want to watch the footage. I don't know how it's going to go. But people wanted it. Get what you ask for. This must be where the bridge is operating. Yes, Street Fighter 6 is this Friday night. We're doing it's Friday night fights again. It's like something's holding it back. Am I trying the new KFC Prime on my B-Day celebration? I have no idea what that means, but I have no desire to eat anything from KFC. Ugh. Oh, look! Whoa, where'd this come from? What do I do? Well, I can't go this way. They blocked. I guess we're going the other way.
fight off the vines to release the bridge. I can't, what do you mean, shoot them? Okay. Oh, it's two of them on top of each other. Oh, you oh. Okay, are we good? I think we're all right now. We gotta go the other way. What? This is blocked by boxes? So what am I supposed to do then? Oh, I don't get it. How do I get down? I didn't see this at all. I did not see this at all. Can't go down there with it. Oh my god. There's a hundred enemies. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. This way, maybe. Oh, what the fuck? Back, grab my ass. Come on. Fucking slam that shit. Now I'm back here again. This isn't right. What am I supposed to go? How could they possibly be doing that through wood? Can't move. Hey, I can't move. They get you in a corner and they stun lock you and you can't do anything about it. You're completely dead when they do that. You're completely stun locked. So where do they want me to go? I was here. I went down. And I couldn't figure out where the hell they wanted me to go. <sighs> Not here. Even though there's the car. They don't want me to go this way. Oh, there's a different way over here. Oh my god. How was I supposed to know that? <clears throat> Answer is, I wasn't supposed to know that, I guess. I can't wait to know there's a different way to go. I guess we take the boat. I guess we take the boat. Fuck it. Right? All the enemies are stuck back there. They can't follow me. No, 
Now we take the bow. Okay. <laughs> a bit confusing, but got to figure it out. Wait to pull those uh, mummified, decayed corpses out of here. Guess technically they wouldn't be mummified; to be bloated. been doing what's going on here look at this mess uh, I, I'm sorry mrs. Thompson don't make me kick you out of this house now get out <sighs> hey detective mr. Carnby I'm really worried about you I'm okay I just need to catch my breath for a moment <clears throat> oh shit this place, it's... There are some very disturbed figures around here. And I don't think it's just the patients. I've been reading some things about how Dorsetto has a deranging effect on people. I think it might explain... things. Mm -hmm. What? Just take it easy, okay? I'm gonna go find a way into Dr. Gray's apartment. I want to know what he's hiding. Emily, don't worry. I think I'm close. Right. I'm gonna set everything right. Yeah, you're real close. Just be careful. Kim was drowned in the water closet. <laughs> well. Conby had run their car off the bridge. He pulled Grace out of the sinking car, but left her father to drown. Ah. He could have saved him. There was time. He just chose not Wow, he chose Instead, not to. He took Grace back to New Orleans and collected his paycheck. Wow. So that's his past. He purposefully let the guy die because he thought he was a bad guy. And he saved the girl, Grace. Come to find out, it was the opposite. The, the father was the good guy. He was trying to save Grace from the life of an abusive mother. And then he returns her back to her abusive mother. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Alright, well... We're in the sitting room where it claims there's another item. This door is locked now. I'm not going in there. She's clearly had enough of me. That ia, ia sound she makes, that's the cult sound. Hey, Dr. Gray, a visit in his apartment. Leave an offering at the Whispering Tree. What the heck kind of an offering would we leave at the Whispering Tree? What is he writing now? I didn't hear what she was saying. Now she stopped. Go okay, ahead, Jones. How was the how was the achievement prophetic? It, it's not a prophecy. It already happened. But you're, <laughs> it already completely happened. All these doors are locked now for some reason. Why does he keep sitting writing? Where'd all the color go? All the color seems to be sucked out of the game now. Right? Well, it says there is nothing going on in any of these rooms, but there might be something in the mezzanine. Sitting room seems glitched. 
Is there a way into the apartment now, maybe? All the colors are off now. What is going on? So now this door is locked. Perosi's room. You heard what she said. I followed him. He's almost ready. He's walking into our trap. What? Who would trap? The mezzanine is now locked. Well, a lot of stuff is now inaccessible. All of a sudden. Like, they're purposefully guiding him. Yeah, see? They're guiding him towards where he needs to go. All the other doors are locked. What the heck? Every other door is locked. Yeah. Yeah, I would say, and I, I wouldn't have thought that at first, but I agree with you that this game is now starting to have... Look at that. The door just opened itself. The game is heavily reminding me of Evil Within now. I agree. Where he's stuck in this nightmare state. You don't know what's real, what's not. Well, the bad news is we are out of time. So we actually can't see what's next. Do not disturb Lanye. This is part of the Forbidden Knowledge uh, set. Man, some of these we never found at all. Dying with Dignity? What ones haven't we found at all? That's it, Dying with Dignity. We've done a few of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've completed, oh, eight. We've completed eight of the sets at this point. Still missing quite a few things. This we're probably going to get when we go into that surgery ward or whatever. This, oh, I don't know. All the world's a stage. Beast of Burn. This looks like cultish stuff. This, I don't know, like a morgue. Maybe again in the surgery ward, you'll see that there'll be like a morgue and a dead body with a toe tag on or something. This, I don't know. Kind of a necklace. The Heartwood Curse. Yeah, I don't know. We already got, we only got one of those. The thing is, we're almost at the end of the game, right? People are saying that this, basically, one more stream will be done with it. So, yeah, I don't know. Man, it's a great game. Let's save up. And uh, next time around, when we when we resume... Oh, you can't save the game here. Well, hopefully, auto-save. Next time around, when we resume, we'll be going into his office and seeing what's next. Um, Good stuff so far. I really like the game. I, I'm, I'm excited. If the next stream is the last one, uh, it'll be cool to see how it all wraps up and see how the plot ties up. But I had a great time. I mean, there was a few problems today. Yeah, a few, a little bit of jankiness. A little bit of difficulty in certain parts. I know ammo. But for the most part, the game continues in a great way. I love the different environments we're constantly going into and jumping in and out of and stuff. And the plot's getting very interesting. Like, you never would have known at the beginning of the game that apparently he is someone who's been here at Dersetto before, right? And they all forgot about him or whatever. That's good stuff. Thank you all. Great stream, great session. I will see you next time for the likely conclusion of Alone in the Dark. Thank you.